Good morning and welcome to Great Day Washington. I'm Ellen Bryan. Kristen Brissett Harris has the day off, but I am joined again. I'll do my best. By meteorologist Howard Howard Bernstein. Good by morning. the way, congratulations on yesterday. You called it. The snow came. Everyone was stuck in traffic for hours. In the yeah, but it wasn't so much the snow. I mean, we had yeah. areas that were slick, but when you have the federal government, which let out, not sure yes. why they did that, and all the schools, and everybody at the same time said, ah. And I think right. it was just the volume of people more so than the weather that caused the issues in the metro yeah. yesterday. And not to diminish some of the slick spots we had well north and west where there were three, four, five inches of snow. But right. yeah, it was just, you know, we got we to gotta yeah. think about this a little bit more when we're doing these mass early dismissals and, right. and coordinate or just say, you know, it's not going to be that bad in the immediate metro. Maybe the federal government shouldn't go home that day. There are some days yeah. it's very warranted, but today or yesterday, yesterday excuse was me. You yeah. saw it on the roads. Right. And, and today, we'll by learn. the way, if we yeah. can pull a radar up real quickly, oh, yeah. we had these uh, snow flurries and snow showers coming through. Some of them, there was one in Owings Mills, and I just saw a lightning strike in the mountains. Oh, so a little wow. thunder snow. So in the summertime, when we get instability, we pop these thunder showers. We have a similar situation, except it's much colder. So most mm -hmm. of these are light. Occasionally, you may get a heavier snow shower where the ground might get slick for a moment. But so you got to, you know, if you're going to be out and about the next few hours, Use a little caution. Right. We but, didn't uh, clear off our steps, and that was a big mistake because now it was ice when oh, I yeah, walked out. Oh, yeah, it's in the morning. upper 20s, low 30s this yeah, morning, yeah. and uh, yeah, you don't want to fall on that your uh, temp goes up soon. You know, keister. Right. I'll be, exactly. I'll be politically correct and say keister. Well, thank you, Howard, for sure. keeping us all safe yesterday. Do you mind joining me for morning mix? That's today? why I'm here. All right. Dry January. Have you heard about this? I have. A very popular trend where people give up alcohol for the entire month of January after you have definitely indulged in December. Most people participate in dry January for health reasons because of all the excessive eating and drinking. However, there is this new study that says you not only should do it for your liver, you should do it for your wallet too. The study found that many millennials spend about $300 a month. That's why they're not paying for anything alcohol. else. Oh, Howard. No, I saw something online today that said there are 20 things going away because millennials refuse to pay for them. Oh, like what? Um, well, I think newspapers for one. You know, they're, they're, yeah. they're reading so many you things. You get everything on Twitter. Our exactly. News is on Twitter. So, so. Yeah. So, because yeah. they're spending it all obviously on alcohol now. Well, I was thinking they said three hundred dollars a month for alcohol. Up. You go out with friends. Okay, the alcohol is three hundred dollars. You're paying for dinner. You're yeah. paying for appetizer. I, it, it's much mm. more than three hundred dollars. Well, I'm just one of those folks. The, the the wait staff must hate me. I never drink when I'm out. Oh, you don't? No, I just get some water or something. I like yeah. the meal. I'll get dessert or something, but I'm, I'm just not ordering. So drinks. you're doing dry January. I do dry almost every month. Yeah. Me so, too. We're kind of alike so, in that way. Yeah. All right. Well, something that we were talking about yesterday, the Australian bushfires, they continue to wreak havoc on the country. There are so many stars like Kylie. Kylie Minogue. Kylie Minogue. Thank you. Chris Hemsworth, Margot Robbie, and Hugh Jackman. They're just pouring out help and money out of their pockets. Uh, Kylie Jenner has also now donated $1 million to the cause. Uh, but also got some backlash over this. The cosmetics mog or mogul, mogul. Thank, mogul, thank you, shared a message on her Instagram about how the animal's deaths had broken her heart. Then you're seeing this here. She had posted an image of her first slippers. People said the posts were highly hypocritical. Are those real first slippers? I think so, yes. She's talking about dead animals. Right. Yeah, I right. can see why people what would not like that. Like one billion animals have that, died. That's what the estimates are when you think yeah. about all the wildlife there. I mean, we see the kangaroos and the koalas, but obviously they have all sorts mm -hmm. of animals. It's, it's not quite as big as the United States, but it's a huge area, Australia. Yeah. And, and these have been devastating wildfires there. Right. Bad season, really bad season. They said it was so dry before this. Yeah, season they they had in. big time drought going on for five six months leading into it, and so it's their yeah. summer. It's their their hot uh, times. They're hundred degrees plus in spots. So yeah, yeah. I think for Kylie Jenner, what we learned is you have to be so careful about. It's just what so you're tone showing. deaf. Yes, right. You know, right. Yeah, back to back to do something like that. It's like. Uh, okay. And 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 certainly someone awareness? who we all perceive to have tremendous privilege in so many ways and. And wealth mm -hmm. and the connection to the, the family name and you know, come on, you yeah. got to do better. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I love this. We've been following CES. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking to people who are out at CES, the Consumer Dr. Frank Electronics is out Show. There. Is he really? Yes. We'll have to catch up with him too. Uh, this is something that's big that's come out of there. Hyundai and Uber they are teaming up to build a fleet of flying taxis. It is one of the big reveals made at CES in Las Vegas this week. The all-electric Uber Air Taxi will initially be piloted, then eventually. By George Jetson. Yes, right. yes, we're bringing him back to do this. Eventually, uh, it's going to be on your own, right? Autonomous, Flight demonstrations yeah. are expected this year, and commercial use may begin. Can you believe this by 2023? Could you imagine going on the Uber app, you know, calling up a ride, and this thing just drops no. out of the sky to pick you up, and there's nobody driving this it? This is hard to believe. Well, That's three years away. 
they Would hope. you get in one of the first ones? I don't know about one of the first ones, but I'd get in pretty soon. Wow. And yeah. how do you regulate that when it all goes up? into the air. We already have so many restrictions here in D.C. Can you they do They do, do but they, you, you can. They'll come up with rules. NASA yeah. is working and has been for years on these lanes in the sky because hmm. they know eventually, like we, when we're, we're driving, we're in two-dimensional space, basically. Right. So they got to go the vertical as well. So they'll, right. they'll come up with rules and they'll agree to them because if we don't agree to the rules when we're flying, I mean, going to be a lot of collisions and that's right. just not going to work. That's going to be a whole new world. Yeah. Whole new world. I know you've seen this movie. Jennifer Lopez's movie Hustlers. Have you all seen it? It is now the center of a lawsuit. It's really a very good story. It is a good story, but listen to what happened. J-Lo, she drew the inspiration from this strip club hostess, Samantha Barbash. Now she's suing Lopez's production company, Samantha is. Barbash says that she refused to sign any consent waivers, but then they went on to make the movie. So she now wants $40 million. She also wants the producers to stop the release and turn over all of the copies okay, and good promotional luck with material. That. It's already out, so what do you do? Yeah, what do you do now that it's, it's out? And if it's a public story, how much of it do you own? It came and from the article, right? Because it was... I think so. Yeah. I think so. So, yeah, and the courts yeah. will figure this one out. Yeah. You know. If you've seen the movie, you know that she's very smart at making money. And so when I heard this, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is another way she's going to make some Even if money. it was in somewhat of an illegal, unethical <laughs> way. Exactly. Exactly. And now that's already been released, right. she was... How, yeah. You can't stop promotional materials now. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've been following JLo. She's having an incredible year last year and now even off in 2020 because one big event on her mind, Super Bowl 54, only weeks away. And she is now preparing for her massive halftime show. How is she doing it? Entertainment Tonight's Nichelle Turner has the story. Hi, Ellen. 2020 is officially the year of the Lopez. JLo's having her moment with award nominations, a wedding, and oh, yeah. A little thing called the Super Bowl halftime show. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm excited about it. Yeah. I mean, it's me and Shakira. She's carrying half the load. I feel good about it. Oh, so you're like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. No, I'm excited. We've been working on an amazing show for everybody. Um, and, you know, it's a few weeks out. We'll go back to rehearsal right tomorrow morning. It is what it is. <laughs> JLo's fiance A Rod posted this video from behind the scenes of her Super Bowl rehearsal. So expect kid dancers or maybe a children's choir. She's keeping it a secret, just like the details of their upcoming wedding. But she told us what she knows so far. We are planning it. That's all I can say. We're planning it for some time this year ish. Mm. Ish. <laughs> this year ish. Yeah. In a special location. I hope. <laughs> you have to travel for the location. Not sure. We have a couple of different ideas. Really? And will the kids have a hand in what? Of course, of course. Can't, yeah. have, can't have it without the kids. All right, all right. We're making a family. And Jennifer could be getting more good news. She finds out Monday morning if she scored an Oscar nomination. Fingers crossed. For Entertainment Tonight, I'm Nichelle Turner. Now back to you. The bow dress was back. Ugh. One more time. Still talking about it, it, huh? I know. It just get the low off of there. Hey, did you hear? The Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, yes. she's about to get her own movie, but uh, her family, they're not so happy about it. Aretha's youngest son says that this movie doesn't cover some very important information like her sons or grandchildren and that everything is being done against the family's wishes. However, David Bennett, Aretha Franklin's longtime attorney and lead counsel, says, uh, lead counsel for her estate, says that this is her youngest son's attempt at becoming a personal representative of the estate. The film Respect, it stars Jennifer Hudson as Aretha, and it is being produced by MGM. Howard is set to be released this fall. That's unfortunate that yeah. the squabbling after the death of, of Aretha is right. going on now. Well, I, I've seen Jennifer Hudson do some of her promotional interviews for it, and I thought, oh, she's perfect for it. I mean, her voice, oh, she'll she's be able great. to cover it great. So I'm like, what's the problem? And now, then hearing what the attorney said, you're like, oh, okay. Money. Yeah, yeah, money's the problem. Money is always the problem, Howard. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. See you in a Appreciate few minutes it. with okay. a forecast. Sounds good. We'll be right back after this.